Hi guys, welcome to Workout with Dai. And today we have a full day of eating. So I'm going to take you with me today and you're going to see everything that I ate today. It's a weekend, so it's going to be a little bit different to my usual food. But I also have some training to do today, so we're going to see. I got swim training at 12. Walking the dog. And we are at the park. I like this park because it has like a basketball court. It has a full greenery back there with like a a little baseball pitch and a kids play swing area and picnic benches and all of that. And then this side is like completely natural. It has a little rock climbing thing just past that hill there. Sit. This little man is having a long walk today. And that is a dead snake. I don't know if it's a dead rattlesnake because it's had the rattle cut off. This is breakfast rolled oats, gran flaxseed, rice milk, and banana. Time for swim lesson. So we're going to come here on Saturdays for the Masters Intermediate Swim class so that we can train for our triathlon in September. Okay, swim class is over, so now it's time to get food. <laughs> so there's chicken and pancakes, maple syrup, and baked chicken. And meat. And chicken wrap. What's that with? I don't know. And some sauce. Sauce. Mmm. <laughs> I guess this is just some kind of ranch. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Mmm. The after. <laughs> nom, nom. So we just got back from our swim lesson and the awesome lunch at Lotus Vegan and I'll put their link just here so definitely check them out and I just got my May beauty box from Vegan Cuts. I'll be doing an unboxing of that pretty soon. Okay time for dinner. And I've got alu matar, and I will do the recipe for this at some point. Rice and a bunch of veggies. I've got peas, soybeans, broccoli, and green beans. This is dark chocolate. I've got 3.2 ounces. So all you're gonna do is put some water on to boil, and then. Make a little bain marie by putting your chocolate on top. And the chocolate will just begin to melt as the heat rises, so make sure that you do stir it occasionally. So in the meantime, you're going to prepare a baking sheet with some parchment paper or baking sheet paper on it, and that's going to prevent the chocolate from sticking to the pan really does start melting quite quickly. And get your Brazil nuts ready. Quick sample. Mm. Mm. 
you're good. So you want your chocolate all melted, no lumpy bits, just nice and smooth. And then we're just gonna add the Brazil nuts. And then start mixing Brazil nuts and they are nicely mixed. You want each one to be really coated with the chocolate. And then you're just gonna transfer them over onto the baking sheet. So you want them all kind of individual. Try not to get them to touch. Be easier to break up then when you need to store them again. Be rude to waste it. into the fridge. See you later. I'm just gonna put them all back in a container. And that is a full day of eating with me and I will see you on the next episode.